Many musicians enthrall audiences with what the audience is like, but only a few musicians make the listeners raise their levels to experience their own bliss. A village called Thittai near Tanjavur was soaking itself in the festive mood of the temple Utsav with maestros of Carnatic music performing since the early hours of the morning. <laughs> the milling crowd seemed too distracted and preoccupied by the festivities to pay any serious attention to the concerts of even the popular artists. As the day was coming to an end, the last performer, a lady, ascended the stage. The festive mob suddenly fell silent as the mesmerizing music permeated the air. indeed music beyond music by the inimitable Brindamma. It's a music that is beyond any categorization. It's beyond great musicality. It's a music of sheer purity. It is a music that is untouched by the world around. It is a music that exists, that's all not because of anything else. That's Brindama to me. Her contemporaries accepted her as a complete musician. Yenna, her music had everything. I am a Thivravadi, a fan, an air conditioner, Brindama. I am a fan of the song, I am a fan of the song, I am a fan of the song. Ethereal music, very addictive. The song is a fan of the song, it grows on you, that type of music. When we get to the first time, we get to the first time, we get to the first time. Today, when you go and listen to your concert, whether the whole concert appeals to you or certain pieces sung in that particular concert appeals to you, one undeniable thing is that if it made a mark, there should have been an influence of T. Brinda on that. Brinda's music can be described as art music as contrasted from craft music. Her art represented all that is microscopic in music. To appreciate this kind of music, you first need a microscope. And it is T. Brinda who gave this microscope not only to musicians, but also to many listeners who were able to see what kind of subtle nuances existed, even simple phrases at times. She was always surrounded by simple things around her, but her thinking was always lofty. She carried the greatest ideals with so much ease. She said that music has to ennoble rather than entertain, and that was the hallmark of her style. Saraswati Kaila, Yepurum Vipanching Rebene, Ambal Meetin Derpa, and the Veneke were Asa Vandada. Number or Marisha Perivedu, the Gathra Veninala Pardon Nomutu. அப்படி பெரந்த அவதாரந்தா பிருந்தாம்மா. Is it possible to unravel the Brinda factor that mesmerizes the soul and elevates one's senses to sheer bliss? It is like uh, Asking what is it about the Niagara Falls that makes you open your mouth and just say wow every time you see it. 
ஒரு ரீசன் சொல்ல முடியுமா அவ்வளோ தண்ணி கொட்டுறது சார் கொட்டின்ட்டே இருக்கு சார் எங்கே போகிறதுன்னு தெரியல சார் ஏதாவது சொல்ல முடியும் ஒரு ரீசனும் சொல்ல முடியாது ஆனால் அதை பார்த்தோம்னா மை குட்னஸ் கிரேஷியஸ்னு ஒரு எக்ஸ்பிரஷன் வரும் எக்ஸாக்ட்லி த எக்ஸ்பிரஷன் எவ்ரி டைம் ஐ லிசன் டு ஒன் நோட் ஃப்ரம் தட் கிரேட் லேடி த கொஷன் தேர் ஃபோர் இஸ் வெதர் த ட்ரூ எசன்ஸ் ஆஃப் தி ஆர்ட் ஆஃப் பிருந்தா வில் ஆல்வேஸ் ரிமேன் அ மிஸ்டரி அண்ட் வி ஷெல் பி லெஃப்ட் அட் பெஸ்ட் டு ஒன்லி அனலைசிங் ஹவு வி டிரைவ் அவர் ஜாய் ஃப்ரம் தட் reaction of veena dhanammal to her granddaughter's gurukula vasam under naina pillai was is there a dearth of music in our house that you need to send her out to seek it elsewhere nevertheless dhanammal's sharp musical acumen made her see the value of naina pillai's tutelage in her granddaughter's music anga irundha vandappo seri enna illa kattirukkeenga paadu nu kedirka indha maamava satatham adha paadna unna ஓ இது ரொம்ப நல்லா இருக்கே சரி பாடு ரெண்டு தடவை நானும் வாசிக்கிறேன்னு சொல்லி கத்துண்டாளாம் அது திஸ் ஆல்சோ ப்ராட் தனம்மாள் அண்ட் நைனா பிள்ளை இன்டூ அ காமன் மியூசிக்கல் பெரிஃபரி அண்ட் தே பிகேம் ஆர்டன்ட் அட்மைரர்ஸ் ஆஃப் ஈச் அதர்ஸ் மியூசிக் She was also trained to play the Veena. Muthu Swami Dekshitar Balagopala Kriti is Vaini Kaga Yeka and Padi Rikar. If you want to learn a good song, you can 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 learn a good song. Vrindama Sangeet is a lot of sophistication, a lot of complex song. If you want to learn a good song, you can learn a good song, you can learn a good song. அதாவது காம்ப்ளெக்ஸிட்டி எதில் இருக்குன்னா அந்த சிம்பிளாக இருக்கிற சங்கதியை ப்யூராக பிடிக்கிறது தான் இருக்கு இஃப் தனம்பால்ஸ் மியூசிக் வாஸ் அ பியூட்டிஃபுல் ஃப்ளவர் பிருந்தாஸ் பிளாசம்ட் இன்டூ அ வெல் ரைப்பன்ட் ஃப்ரூட் கர்நாடிக் மியூசிக் ஃப்ரெட்டர்னிட்டி சூன் அ வேக்கண்ட் டு த இன்னிமிட்டபிள் நியூ ஸ்டைல் தட் பிருந்தா அன்ஃபர்ல்ட் Nana Pillai's music, it is said, was like the ocean with its awesome majesty. And Dhana Maal's music had the subtle beauty of the glistening dew drop. And so, in, in integrating Nana Pillai's music with the Dhanam style, it looked as if Brinda condensed the ocean to a minute drop, yielding altogether a new aesthetic eloquence. <laughs> Leslie was with me, my colonial partner. And uh, Amma would part, uh, Brindha would part. Uh, I, I told uh, his Brindha Amma, uh, my mother's guru and law. Uh, something like that, she started. And Leslie just got up and say, he just said, I've never heard any note sung in so much tune. I mean, 
what a comment and that one comment it just describes her musicality her total being as an artist when you sing with a loud voice even an approximation in the shruti can give an illusion of being tuneful sometimes to be really tuneful you have to really modulate your voice to a laser beam kind of precision and thinness so that you actually hit the note at a sharp angle when you heard even a very oft rendered composition like akshay linga vibho of muthu swami dikshita rendered by brindamma the manner in which she would approach a section like the charanam would be almost meditative padare vana mule so the the plain power over there would still be modulated beautifully and it's not even a curve there's no oscillation in that it will be a straight note but with so much of modulation which will actually make it elegant the whole concept of being tuneful was taken to a new dimension because of this modulation madadi vana mula nahi ka sagi பர்லோனு வேட கூட கலோனில் நாங்கள் பல்லவி மட்டும் ரெக்கார்டட் இட் ஸோ அந்த கீர்த்தன் கூட எத்தனை பியூட்டிஃபுல்லி அம்மா சுரண்டர் மேல் சாலேருந்து கீழே பஞ்சமம் வரை இருக்கு சரிதபு ரேஞ்ச் இருக்கு ஃபஸ்ட்டு ஃபஸ்ட்டு சங்கதி அதுதான் ரொம்ப அழகுது இல்லை பருளனு பருளனு Todi was a family heirloom in the Veena Dhanamal family. In fact, it was said that TN Rajaratnam Pillai, who was an exponent of the highest order of the Raga Todi, was an ardent admirer of Veena Dhanamal. The number of krithis that are there in the family repertoire is just mind-boggling. Tappi Bradiki, Ninnu Vina Sukhamugana, Kaddanuvariki, Sri Kamalambike of Subarai Shastri, Gajavadana, Poosadharamu and so many many more. a musicologist in her own right but to her the grammar was but the handmaiden to art and not its master an obsessed grammarian makes a poor point brinda's laya gnana and swara gnana were inherent in her singing 
and not on display. She never overemphasized or dramatized a musical idea, however brilliant. And I think that came from her mind and personality that were highly refined and sensitive. Urupadi ke takkan apa dia, arta ke takkan apa dia, kala permainan kerumbang. Sila urupadi ibu ayah padu angga, urukalai ayah lah sorang tu. Sila urupadi urukai, tadi padu angga. Ramane daya, ramane daya. Ini urut apa dia padu angga? Anda itu kanda permainan tu ke suara mu padu angga angga. When we tend to sing very slow phrases or very slow compositions. It's almost inevitable that we may tend to speed it up even involuntarily. Even in the slowest phrases in Raga Alapana to the super fast phrases in some of the actual fast compositions that she would render, her Kala Pramana, the tempo, would be impeccable and unshakable. Her Swara singing was always steeped in rich Raga Bhava as much as it came out resplendent even on the higher speed without being mauled by the liar. Manasa Shri Rama Chandruni Manasa Shri Rama Chandruni Manasa Shri Rama Chandruni Manasa Shri Rama Chandruni In the speed of Padva Manasa Shri Rama Chandruni Manasa Shri Rama Chandruni 